Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, we're going to be making a toy. I don't normally make toys, but I thought this would be a good one. And to be more specific, this is a folk pull toy designed to look like a pedaling bicyclist. Here you can see the full size patterns already printed out and attached to the wood with clear packing tape. It is a man depicted pedaling a tricycle and it's going to have movements. Again, it's a pull toy, so when you pull it along, it's going to have the movement of him pedaling the bike. I've made these before but never filmed it, so I decided I'd make another one and film the process to the best of my abilities. I hope I do this video justice showing you guys how I made it. I have already drilled all the pilot holes as you can see because there is multiple drill bit sizes to use in this for the dowel rod to go through and be tight on one side and loose on the other for the movement to take place. You have to glue some dowels in place which we'll do in the video. But as I said I've already got everything printed out and attached. This is quarter inch plywood. We are going to stack cut the arms and the legs and go and make both of those at the same time. I won't need two of the big front wheel. I'll probably just sand it and hang it up or use it in a different project. Um, there is more pieces to this that are smaller like the back wheels, the piece for the handlebar right here and we're going to be cutting it all out here in a second. I wanted to go on and pre-draw all the pilot holes so we could jump right into the project. The pattern comes from this book that I've had probably 15 or 20 years. It's called, or probably close to 15 years, it's called Folk Toys Patterns and Projects for the Scroll Saw and the book is wrote by Ken Folk. Now the cover um, project I've actually done and let me show that to you guys real quick. Again this book I've had a while and I've done this when I first started learning woodworking. I picked up the book and it is two Dutch ladies churning butter and you just crank the handle here and really really neat. I love mechanical toys like this, mechanical banks anything old school like that I really love and it's got just a simple movement in the back to do the movement simple gear there but really really awesome again the pattern I've got printed out and attached and got all my pilot holes drilled but I want to show you guys kind of what we're making before we jump over on the scroll saw and begin and again he is the pedaling cyclist there you can see him fully put together. There's a front and side view and then there is the exploded view showing you the different sizes of drill bits to use and dowel rods to use and the following pages have the full pattern. But enough talking from me. Let's get into the project. I'm going to pick up my pieces and head over to the scroll saw so we can start scrolling. Let's get started. And over here on the scroll saw we're going to begin by cutting all the parts out. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades for all of the cutting on this project. And again I'm stack cutting the pieces you see here because I need two legs, two arms, two of the thighs that move and I don't need two of the wheel. I'll just put one aside for another project for a later date. But I'll go through and cut everything out cutting out the handlebar here and this is kinda like a compound cut has a nice little 3D effect now I'm cutting out the guy and back to cutting out the stack cut parts and the arms need spacers and this is half inch Baltic birch plywood If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now that everything's cut out, I'm going to begin sanding everything with the palm sander with 100 grit sandpaper. And then I will begin assembling the pieces with Gorilla Wood Glue. Putting the handlebar to the guy and adding these spacers to the arms. 
and I have to stop and come back several times to let the glue grab and dry. Now using a quarter inch dowel for the handlebar and lining the hands up and I will glue and clamp that together for a little while. A lot of pegs and small dowel rods for the quarter inch dowel rod is in this project so you see me stepping away and cutting the longer dowel rod down into smaller pieces. Now adding the wheel and this is the hardest part to glue up it just really needs a dot of glue to lock the wheel on the dowel rod and you want to make sure there's clearance and that it spins freely. Now adding the pegs which are just toothpicks that I already had and again stepping away to cut the dowel rods down. Now adding the legs and pegging them on with toothpicks and cutting them down to size and now adding the back wheels. And now attaching the final pieces and these are the pedals and you want to make sure one is up and one is down on the axle to get that pedaling motion of a bicycle but then I let this dry a good hour or so and came back and the project was complete and he rolled around nicely And here we have the completed pedaling cyclist pull toy. The folk toy came out real good. He really has nice movement and everything with the pedaling motion. Really, really awesome. All that would be left to do for this is to put a small eye hook in it and then attach a rope with maybe a little wooden ball in it so smaller hands could hold it and pull and then he would be following right along behind them. I don't have the little eye hook or I'd put that in in this video. But all in all, it's ready to go and start pedaling and putting miles on the tires. I mean, really, really fun project. I had fun making it. It came out real good. Um, I've been wanting to do this project now over a month. I've had the pattern laying out here where I photocopied it. And I was just trying to come up with a way to really make this pattern, to really do it just um, to where you guys can understand it watching the video. Um, and I finally just broke down and did it and I hope I did this video good and y'all can really understand how it's put together and how it works really really fun again he's made of scrap wood um, I didn't have nothing in this except the quarter inch dowel and then the two um, wooden toothpicks for the little pegs that hold everything together really really awesome old timey construction and again I've made this before in the past I just never filmed making it I believe I've made two of these in the past. Can't quite remember. I think he's the third one right here. Um, but people just get them and put them up on their shelves because it reminds them of their childhood. Maybe they had a pull toy as a child. I know pull toys are kind of gone by the wayside now, the way technologies took over. But just a great, great fun project. I did have some blowout on some of the pieces right here on the back side of where the drill bit came through drilling all the holes before I started cutting and that's just because this is quarter inch scrap plywood he would probably look amazing made out of some darker wood maybe an oak or something and then clear coated to make the grain pop or even painted with acrylic paint if you guys wanted to do that I love the natural look of the wood but really really awesome and I just love that movement um, really really classic and just a great toy to make over on the scroll saw it took me around 30 minutes to cut everything out. It really wasn't a lot of scroll work in it. It was more time in gluing everything up, drilling the holes in the pegs, waiting for each part to dry, and then proceeding to the next step. But all in all, I think he came out great. Once again, the full-size pattern for this project is available in the Folk Toys for the Scroll Saw by Ken Folk. I would really hope that this 
um, book is still in production or may be available at a local library so you guys can maybe try it there's a lot of folk toys in here I mean it's full it's at, it's at least 15 projects in here all with the same kind of similar construction and that old vintage folk toy look to it but really really awesome I had fun making this and I hope you guys like watching me make it and please let me know if I've done a good job and done a satisfactory job of presenting the video on how he was made I didn't want to make it too difficult but that's about all for this one. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.